as students of prophecy, we are watching for all the signs that Jesus said will happen before he gets here. And this is one of the reasons I have a lot of information on the website about prophetic events, you know, that are being fulfilled on a daily basis. And, um, and it's not just, we don't just watch for the political events or the church events or even events that happen in society and nature. We also watch for signs in the heavens because the scriptures do go into detail in regards to watching for that. And so, uh, years ago I did a sermon series. It was more or less an, an update of my book, People Get Ready. Uh, and you could find the sermon series if you go to Prophecy of Today and then scroll down to We Are Very Near the End. And uh, like I said, this is a sermon series. So each part in this series is an actual sermon. There's an MP3 link for each area of the sermon. But when you get to section 17, uh, well, there's, there's a section called the Orion Cloud. I never put that in audio for certain reasons. Uh, we were watching for things here. Uh, and if you click it, you'll go to some information here in regards to what we as uh, students of prophecy have been watching for. And back when I posted this, there were certain events that were happening in the Orion Nebula that suggested a cloud was coming out of the nebula. And this is what scientists have been calling it. They can't understand why certain areas that they were able to see before they can't see now because it's like a cloud is in front of it. And I go into detail on this page here. Well, as I promised back then, if we see anything new happening, we're going to alert the church family. And that's what this video is about. Check this out. We're coming now to the top stories, starting with the ESO and their latest look from Alma at an exploding feature in Orion. Until recently, the best views of the Orion Nebula have come from infrared and x-ray scopes. But now, this millimeter wavelength detector was able to spot the true origin of the energy seen in the area. Scientists think two stars collided, but whatever the explanation, that is not something too many people expected to see among the tons of other odd fascinations in Orion. Okay, there you have it. Thank you for watching. God bless.